Hey Gopher Nation, hey this is Coach Scott, 7th grade offensive line coach, and I'm going to show you guys how to restore the yellowed helmet. They're terrible this year, and I want to make them white again. Okay guys, so what we do, um, we just take a face mask off. Make sure you put everything in the box so you don't lose it. Just four screws. Face mask comes off. Take out the inner ear pads. They just pop out. There's just a little button right here. There's just a little button right here. Just pop that out. Chin strap off. Rydell plastic front. Just comes right off. You can just leave that in there. That's how yellow these helmets are. We're gonna see what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, once you have the face mask off, run down to Safeway, get yourself some Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. These things are seriously awesome for helmets. Um, and just go over with it with everything. It takes smudges like that right out. Just like brand new. So we're gonna clean it really good with the Magic Eraser. We're just gonna take all the little imperfections out helmet dings, whatever. The big scratches, you're not gonna be able to get out. That's impenetrated into the helmet, so don't even worry about those. But any kind of uh, like black smudges from other people's helmets or face masks, this magic eraser, it takes them right out. Hey guys, hey, we're here at uh, the Highland Complex, uh, Highland Safeway, and uh, this is where you get the magic solution. Uh, this is the uh, number 40 salon care cream. Make sure you get the cream and I'm going to show you where it's located. We're here at Sally Beauty Supply. Hello. I'm bringing this in. Okay, no worries. Thank you. And as you can see, they have tons of it. Just make sure you get the number 40 cream. And you can just get uh, one of these small ones. We'll do one helmet easily. Three bucks. All right, guys, here's where we start the process. Uh, here's the magic touch right here. Uh, Salon Care uh, Volume 40. Make sure you get the 40. That uh, tells you how much peroxide and bleach is in the product. Uh, make sure you get the cream, because the cream goes on like a paint. If you get the liquid, it'll just, it's just like water. So make sure you get the cream. Get yourself a cup, paintbrush, uh, gloves for protection. Um, the product won't burn your hands or anything, but I just like to use gloves just for protection. And saran wrap. Okay. Just be generous when you're putting this stuff on.
All right, guys, then we take our saran wrap and we just wrap the whole thing. So the saran wrap is gonna keep all the moisture in and let the reaction happen. If you don't put saran wrap on it, the stuff will just evaporate in the sun. Make sure you're in the sun, direct sunlight, because the UV rays is what makes the action happen. You don't have to be perfect, just uh, all we're doing is making sure the surface area is covered up so that stuff doesn't evaporate. All right, we got the helmet all sealed up with our saran wrap. We're gonna let it sit for one hour on one side, and then we're gonna come back out here, flip it, uh, get on the other side. We wanna make sure the sun hits both sides for one hour. Um, that'll, that'll clean her all up. We will see what we got when we come back. Guys, let's see what we got. Check it out. It's white again. Okay, Gopher Nation, there it is. White helmet. Yellow is gone. This will be a happy customer. <laughs> hey, if you guys need any shirts, hats, or sweatshirts, go to GreshamFanGear.com and we'll get you hooked up.